Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. To make my card, I'm going to be using this construction paper for one of the pieces. So I've taken one of the pieces out and now what you want to do is you want to just fold it in half and just make a tiny mark at the end so that it's just dividing so you can see where the center divide is. So not all the way through, so you're just dividing like that. So once you've divided your paper and you're marking in your two centimeters on the sides, don't worry about all the lines and the mess that we're going to see because we're going to reverse it. So just drawing your two centimeter divide. Now what you're going to do is on the from the center line you're going to mark off at one centimeter increments you're going to mark off six centimeters and below the line here you're going to mark off five centimeters. I like to mark it on, on both sides so that I get the lines as straight as what I can. So just mark that the other side as well. And then just join the lines. Once you've got your grid, what you're going to do is you're going to measure. So I've got 17 centimeters, so I've got eight and a half, which is my middle. So I'm just going to mark the middle off there. Now you're going to measure in four centimeters on either side. Where you've got your center line, you're going to take your compass and just measure the distance there. And then you're going to draw a half circle from that point so that your circle is reaching the one centimeter mark on the opposite side of where the fold is. So now because the distance from that particular point there is one, two, three, four, what you have to do is you've got to go down by half a centimeter extra. So you're doing it in the middle of the second bottom line so that you've got your four and a half centimeters because that's what the distance is between those two points. So just taking the four and a half centimeters and just going doing a half circle to that point and then I'm just going to be going straight down to that mark. So measuring the same on the top So you're measuring in an extra one centimeter on the top and you're just taking it to the top of the archway. So just measuring these ones as well. And you should have a grid that looks like that. Now, to make the stairs, what we're going to be doing is going up from this line, you're going up by one centimeter, and just darken that line slightly, because that's going to be one of your fold lines. And then once again, going up by one to the next line going in. Same again. And again. Then on the center line, 
you're going up to the first one and doing the same thing. So just darken that line a wee bit and then across. So you've got something that looks like that. Now just do the same on the other side. When you're marking the lines, just go a little bit past so that when it comes time to cutting, you know where to stop. So now we're going to start cutting. So we're going to cut from the first dark line and we're going to be going all the way down to the bottom line. Make sure that your cutter is sharp so that it doesn't rip the paper. And then the next line, we're going to be going from the second line up here. So from there, and we're going to be going all the way down to the second line. So every time you're going to be cutting, you're going to go from the top one to the one below. So you're going past the first line. So then the next cut will be on to that line. So I'm cutting this one now down to the bottom line, the second bottom line. And the next one we're going to go to that same line again, but on the next one up. And for the next one we're going to stop at this line. So every time you're going up by one you're starting and continuing the whole line all the way down so that it continues the pattern on both sides. And then up once again to the next one. So with this one we're cutting to that line. And for the last one, you're starting from the top line and cutting to the... Now just make sure that you've cut through everywhere. So now we've got all our pieces cut out. Now just do the same on the other side. Next thing, we're going to cut out the circle and stopping at that line. So just cut that out. And then your piece is loose, like that. Now it comes time to the folding, so we're going to reverse it so that we don't have all those lines on it. So the first fold we're going to do is to... going back onto this side. So on all these little lines on the bottom one, what you're going to want to do is you're going to be folding them inward so just taking them from that side and you're going to be just folding the way you've drawn the thick line and do the same on the other side now that you've folded all those ones, it's time to do the top ones. So reversing them once again, going on the other side, what you're going to do is you're going to be taking them and folding them so that when you turn it over this side, these ones are actually going to be folded towards you. So like that. And then just fold both sides like that. When you get to the top line here, it's going in the same direction as these ones. So just holding it and then just bending along that line. So, so this one's going to come towards you. So I'm just going to take a ruler so I can get it straight. Tight. 
towards you like that. Now when you go down, we're going to go to this one and we're going to bend it in the middle of this line. And that one as well, we're going to be bending in the same direction as the bottom ones. So it's going to be going inward. So I'm just going to flip it over so I can get the line and just bend that. And now the last line, which is the bottom line here, what we're going to do is we're going to be pulling that and bending it inward. So just taking your paper and folding it along that line. So it's like that. And then we're just going to push that through and where we've got the center of our piece of paper you're going to just do the reverse fold on that one as well so that your piece of paper is in half so just fold that one just going to pull those pieces all forward, put them in place, and once you've folded your piece of paper over, just squash down all the pieces that you folded. I'm going to be using a piece of the black card to put it back, so once again just folding it in half, and then just gluing the piece in. So now because my pieces of cardboard were exactly the same size and I don't like the fact that the white sticks out on the sides so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down the inside white card by two millimeters on on all the sides just so that it fits nicely inside the black card. You can leave it just like this and then glue your gondola if you'd like to see how to make the gondola, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But I want to put a few more details in it. So what I'm doing from the archway, I'm measuring in 2 millimeters, and then I'm going to measure 2 centimeters for each piece. I'm not really worried about the end piece, because that one's only 1.8 it doesn't really matter um, so I'm just doing that on the same and then drawing the lines down and then on the sides I'm measuring 1.5 centimeters and 0.5 so the total of each square is two centimeters and then from the archway I'm going in by one centimeter And then just drawing a line there as well. And what I'm doing now is I'm using two focal points. So I'm using that particular point there and that particular point there. So from this side, I'm going to be drawing lines going from each line on the other side from the two millimeter mark. And I'm going to be going just down to the one centimeter mark just like that and then to the next one so the one centimeter line that comes past there I'm going all the way through to the other side and doing invisible measurements of going up by two centimeters and then two centimeters again which will be that last point just over there
and the same on the other side by using this particular point as my focal point and I'm just connecting the line to the one centimeter mark just like that just to create an illusion that it's going down into the water and to give me my watermark I'm taking the point the furthest point where it actually is on the paper and I'm going to where the top and I'm going to just join the line from that point to the first line on this one to just draw it like at that angle so that's going to be where I'm going to be painting like the dirty watermark on my little piece to paint my water I'm using cool blue titanium white mid green phyllo blue and burnt umber I'm just using some titanium white to just put some little waves or rips into the water and now I'm just taking a harder brush which is like that so that I can get it looking like it's going it's splashing up the sides of the canals and that's about all I'm going to be doing for the water and now to paint the sides that are supposed to be going down I'm using a little product called patio paint and it's just called grey and then I'm just going to put that aside to dry Now that everything is dry, we can start gluing it together. So the two millimeter piece of paper that I cut off, I'm going to be gluing just along there like that on both sides. And then just trim the bottoms off. On the black cardboard, I'm just going to write happy birthday. I'm going to be using this paint marker. You can write it in whatever style you want. I'm just going to try and write it in some fancy calligraphy. I'm just using a glue stick to glue this in. So we're just going to glue all the pieces make sure when you're gluing it in that you're gluing it in on the right side so that your message is on the front so that when you open it it opens in the right direction so now we're just going to glue the other side down remember to try and glue this little piece down as well so we're going to glue that onto the back piece I thought the card was looking a little bit bare so I've decided to paint a wee tree there and put a few birds in the sky I've got a small piece of paper and I'm just measuring all five centimeters because that's the size that I want to write my little message of happy birthday on so I'm just going to draw that and then cut that down before I cut it because it's easier to write on a larger piece of paper you need to leave one centimeter at the bottom for gluing down so whatever size piece of paper that you're going to be using I'm using five centimeters to write my message on so you're going to need to have six centimeters above the message so that you can fold the paper and glue it in so that it can collapse with the card when the card is folded but just write your message whatever message you want I'm only writing happy birthday on this one so I've glued it in and I'm not going to be closing the card right now because the paint is still wet 
If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.